I came over to the Rainbird controller. I tried to turn on zone one and the pump did not turn on. So how do we figure out what's going on here? Well, that multimeter right there is going to be the answer to all of my questions here. I'm going to take this multimeter and I'm going to run a voltage test, AC voltage with the squiggly line there against the master valve. I'm gonna to try to do this with one hand. I got one lead on the common and one lead on the MV terminal, which stands for master valve, which in this case, it's connected to this relay here, which would turn on that pump. And it would require 24 volts to engage that relay. And we're getting zero. Okay, well, that could just mean that the controller was programmed not to use the master valve. So we are running zone one. So let's go back over here and place our terminals or our uh, tester onto the common and the terminal for zone one, like so. Let's see what kind of voltage we're getting now. Nothing. Well, that's definitely supposed to be sending out at least 24 volts to zone one. The panel says it's on. The only other thing we can check in here to see what's possibly going on, we should go backwards in the power. Let's go up here to the 24 volt terminals coming out of the top of the transformer. And with my tester on the two orange wires there, we are getting 29 volts, which means that the controller is getting the voltage it needs. However, it's not sending it through to the uh, modules here so that it'll send the voltage out to the field. So that means that the controller or the modules are no good. Now we can further test this by going over to zone five or six, which is on that other module. Interesting. This controller is not even set up to water that module. Let me go ahead and put some time on those modules. Two, three, four, five. This controller is not even detecting that that other module is in here. All right, so we'll unplug it and plug it back in. All right, I'm gonna call it. The controller, not the faceplate, but the back plane of the controller is shot. I would have to replace the entire controller in order to fix this problem. And as you guys know, I'm more of a fan of Hunter controllers than the ESP ME3 that you see there. So I'm going to be quoting to install an HPC controller here. It'll match nicely with that Hunter relay right next to it. That's how we troubleshoot why the pump doesn't turn on on this site.